uh, in the, it took place about 2021. Uh, CNS tumor classification has not been based on histological findings supported by tests such as immunohistochemical ultrastructural. Molecular biomarkers have gained importance in providing two ancillary and uh, defining diagnostic information. Uh, who incorporates numerous molecular changes with clinopathologists utility that are important for the most accurate, uh, accurate uh, classification of CNS neoplasms. Uh, there are uh, some uh, laboratory technologies like immunohistochemistry chemistry is a simple and uh, robust methodology for uh, detect, uh, detecting protein expression. However, this technique has several limitations. Uh, novel methodologies such as DNA and RNA sequencing, uh, fluoroskin in situ hybridization, FIS, and uh, genome wide SNP arise have uh, dramatically uh, contributed to tumor diagnosis and classification. Uh, DNA methylation profiling has emerged as a powerful tool for diagnostic and prognostic purposes. Here you can see a uh, newly recognized tumor types we will uh, discuss uh, uh, right now. Uh, for, uh, for example, uh, gliomas are categorized based on histopathological features, mutational profile, and the uh, copy number alterations. There are two types of uh, glioma, diffuse gliomas, uh, which classificated are classified into adult type that and pediatric type uh, in in order to separate tumors with distinct molecular biology and different prognosis. Uh, there is another category, gliomas with circumscribed growth pattern, are grouped and separated from the gliomas with diffuse pattern that I mentioned before and then if you in growth because uh, the last, the later, tend to have a more aggressive clinical behavior. Uh, we have a new approach to classify gliomas, glioneuronal uh, tumors and neuronal tumors. We have, like, like I mentioned before, adult type diffuse gliomas and pediatric, pediatric type diffuse low-grade gliomas. Uh, there is another type, pediatric type, and circumscribed astrocyte, astrocyte gliomas. There is uh, another category, glio, uh, neuronal and neuronal tumors and ependymomas. 14 new tumors are uh, incorporated. We, we will discuss our type diffuse gliomas. Uh, after sighted tumors are grouped and are those with and without IDH mutations. There are three categories. Astrocytoma, IDF, IDH mutating, uh, it is grade two or four. Uh, the term anaplastic is omnitin now. Oligodendroglioma, uh, the, uh, the, there is IDH uh, mutant and uh, uh, 1P19. Q to identify like oligodendroglioma and glioblastoma, the classic type IDH, one type of uh, mutation. As you can see, uh, there is diffuse glioma. Uh, if uh, the wild type uh, IDH one. Uh, uh, gene uh, mutation, then we have with uh, the other, like uh, microvascular proliferation, necrosis, and others, we have the classic glioblastoma, IDH wild type, CNS to grade 4. If we have mutation in that IDH1, then we have two, uh, two ways, or ATPX mutation with TP53 uh, mutation, uh, which linked to astrocytoma IDA pain and uh, CNS who grade four, or astrocytoma grade two or three. And if 
uh, we have ITRX retain and uh, one P19 codelation, then uh, that humor is linked like oligodendroglioma. Uh, pediatric type diffuse gliomas. Most pediatric gliomas are uh, indolent and slow growing uh, tumors with rare malignant progression, progression uh, like ITH mutations and the uh, 1P19 correlation uh, and uh, have distinct uh, molecular abnormalities like uh, RAS, MAR, or histone uh, genes. Specific entities can be identified only by DNA methylo, methylo like, like profile. profile. Uh, here we can see the low grade diffuse gliomas uh, of pediatric type. Uh, we have uh, diffuse astrocytomas, MIM or uh, YPL1 altered. Uh, angiocentric gliomas. Polymorphous low grade uh, neuroepithelial tumors of uh, the young and diffuse low grade gliomas mark pathway alter. Uh, uh, however, we have a pediatric type diffuse high grade gliomas, diffuse midline gliomas H3K27I uh, alter, diffuse hemispheric glioma H3G34 mutate. And pediatric type, uh, type high grade glioma, H3 wild type, and uh, IDH wild type. Infant type, him, uh, another type of the, of the infant, him, uh, infant hemispheric glioma. Uh, we, we discuss about the circumscribed astrocytic uh, gliomas. Uh, the, well known pilocyte in astrocytoma, some uh, ependymal, uh, ependymal giant cell astrocytomas, and pleomorphic xanthoastrocytomas. And uh, in, in that category, we have two new entities high grade astrocytomas with uh, piloid features and astroblastoma MN1 alternate. Uh, classifying, but uh, histopathology uh, ependymal. We have uh, the new uh, uh, classified for the pendimomas. Uh, they uh, are classified by histopathological molecular features and anatomic uh, side. Uh, molecular defined subgroups are defined by gen and DNA methylation uh, profit profiling. We have three different categories, like I mentioned, supratentoria, GFTA fusion, and the UAP1 fusion. Uh, we have the other category for infratentorial ependymomas, PFA absence, and the PFB presence of histone H3K27 trimethylation, which is more aggressive. And we have the spinal ependymomas. Uh, the, uh, we will uh, discuss about the glioneuronal and neuronal tumors, three new types added, uh, diffuse glioneuronal tumor with oligodendroglioma, like features and uh, nuclear clusters, multi-nodular and uh, vacuolating neuronal, uh, neuronal tumor, and uh, mixoid glioneuronal tumor. Embryonal tumor, all that types of tumors are grade four, arising from neural stem cells. Heterogeneous group of tumors with regard to histopathologies and the molecular uh, genetics. Uh, the well-known medulloblastoma uh, is the first of all. And then we have ati uh, atypical teroid, rhamboid tumors, and all other embryonal tumor, uh, embryonal tumors. There are some new new tumors in this category. Here uh, we can, uh, is depicting the, these slides, the myeloblastoma, WNT activating, uh, medulloblastoma SHH activating, and TP53 uh, wild type, the medulloblastoma in the TP53 uh, mutating, and medulloblastoma 
no, uh, non doubling anything, non SH8. Um, in that uh, embryonal tumors, I, I mentioned before, we have a typical teratoid uh, tumor, but the new four categories is embryonal tumor with multilayer rosettes, CNS neuroblastoma, FOXR2 activated, CNS tumor with DCOR internal tandem uh, duplication, and CNS embryonal tumor neck nose. And uh, the last uh, categories meningioma. The meningiomas are now regarded as a single tumor type with uh, uh, 15 subtypes. The malignancy, the malignancy gradient has been changing to uh, with uh, within tumor gradient regardless of subtype. Then, uh, for example, maybe we have a grade one meningioma, but uh, it could be uh, grade two in the same tumor. Uh, here you can see the genetic alteration and clinopathology significant, uh, significant um, alters. Uh, can, uh, as, as you can see, then uh, we can uh, uh, find what type is the meningioma. Uh, there are two uh, grades two in the as uh, is depicted in the lower. Uh, Left uh, four or uh, fifteen mitosis, ten high power uh, fields, for example, or who grade three more than twenty mitosis uh, in ten high power fields, and uh, all the other uh, causes. So, uh, brain tumor and research over two decades has shown that the molecular assessment is more effective than a traditional histogenic assessment. The development of molecular characterization of CNS tumors lowers the possibility of safe error, improves the diagnosis and prognosis, and facilitates clinical decision-making. Challenges include greater need for faster and uh, exactly diagnosis, uh, so more widespread molecular testing uh, we can, we will do to find identify the type of the tumor. Thank you. Now you can see the the next uh, seminar: neuro oncology in Ioannina, 23, 24 March in uh, 2024. So, thank you, Professor.